gorgeous witchy wednesday or your first if you haven't been here before so today we are going to be talking about moon water what is moon water what do you do with it how do you make it what do you use it for i'm gonna fill you guys in on all of that because it's one of my favorite things to do or to make to have on hand to incorporate into my everyday life to make it just a little bit more magical. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Here we go. So what even is moon water? Simply put, moon water is just water that's been charged by moonlight and its origins are kind of unclear but the practice of making moon water moon water has been around since roughly the 1800s contrary to popular belief or other videos you may have seen moon water can be made during any lunar phase but it should never be made during a solar eclipse because the shadow that the eclipse creates is a time for releasing energy you know not attracting not pulling it to yourself but releasing letting go okay sure moon water can be made during any lunar phase right but which phase is the best for making moon water like the absolute peak time to do it Honestly, it all depends on the energy, the type of energy that you're trying to attract. I can't speak English today, if you haven't noticed. Might be the coffee. So most people believe that the best time to make moon water is during the full moon. And I mean, it's a great time. The moon is high and bright and full. The energy is robust. You can practically feel it charging the air. You can feel it. But um, I'm going to tell you what energy your water will absorb at each step of the lunar cycle. So you know what to do with your water or what you'll wanna do with your water during the point in time where the moon is high at whatever cycle is at. I'm rambling. Let me just get to it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you what type of energy your water will absorb depending on what point in the lunar cycle you make your water. Okay. So if you're making your moon water during a new moon or the dark moon, um, the energy will be geared towards envisioning what you want what you want for the foreseeable future, what your goals are, what you're trying to attain, what you can see happening in the future, <laughs> envisioning. You know what I mean? I hope so. If you're creating your moon water during the waxing crescent moon, what your energy will be geared towards will be um, initiating, starting the process of what it is that you're working towards or what goals you're trying to attain, that sort of thing. The first quarter moon will be implementing. That will be all the planning and the steps you took in the first two stages during the new moon and during the waxing crescent moon. Now you're going to implement those things and get that process rolling, putting it into place. Um, to attract the things that you've been thinking of since the new moon. If you're making your moon water during the waxing gibbous moon, this would be the time to refine what you've thought about, what you've initiated, what you've implement, implemented, implemented, and now you're gonna refine that work that you've done and really hone in on what it is that you want before the full moon. Now, finally, 
not finally, we have more to go. But anyway, if you're making your moon water during the full moon, this time is all about manifestation. So if you didn't make any water during the new moon or the waxing crescent or first quarter or waxing gibbous, that's fine. It's a full moon now and it's a time of manifestation, okay? So it's good to have put in all that work, but even if you didn't, the time is prime, the energy is potent, manifest. Now, once the full moon has passed and we are now in waning gibbous, it is a point in time of reflection. So if you're making your moon water in this lunar phase cycle, it's a reflecting point in time. This is when I would make moon water for baths and anything, even like tea, anything where I want to sit and think and reflect and charge myself with the necessary energy to give me a bit of a mental boost. Know what I mean? Okay, so the last quarter moon is a time for release. If you making, if you want to make um, moon water during this point in time, this is to release the things that do not serve you, have not served you, did not serve you, any negative thoughts or ill wishes or just anything you are wanting to let go of. This is a good point in time to create your moon water. And of course, as with all the rest of them, you will use the water in line with that purpose, release, letting go. And finally, just before the new moon dawns again, the waning crescent moon. If you're making your moon water at this time, this is a time for surrender. Not too far off from re release, but I mean, I don't know how to explain this best. You, It's not just letting go of what hasn't served you. It is surrendering, giving yourself in, giving it up to, for me, giving it to God, which I do every day, but anywho. Basically, I come to accept where I am, what I've received, what I haven't. I'm not fighting the signs, the feelings, the clues anymore. I'm not fighting. The way the universe if the universe has been trying to tell me something i'm not fighting that anymore i'm surrendering myself to where i am how i got here what i want and i'm contemplating where i want to be during the next quarter or the next cycle or the lord help me the foreseeable future now with all that chitter chatter out of the way now to the easy part how do you make moon water? I promise it's so damn easy. So you get a jar, preferably glass, glass is best, glass or crystal, um, with a lid. You cleanse it, clean it, like with soap and water, clean it, and then cleanse it. You can use incense, you can use your own energy, you can use your thoughts, whatever. Cleanse it, fill it with purified water, or spring water um, or filtered water. If you do use spring water, please don't drink it. If you are going to use it or consume it in any way, use filtered um, or purified water. Put that in the jar, close it up, and let it sit out where it can catch the most moonlight. So you want to leave it somewhere in direct moonlight and leave it there for at least four hours, but preferably overnight and take it back in the house before the sun rises because if you leave it out the whole day while the sun is up it's really not moon water anymore it's, it's just water <laughs> after that you simply store your water in a cool dark place i mean it's water so it will last quite a while but it will grow stale like energy tends to do so Use it up and make more. Now, there are ways to like enhance your moon water and give it an extra boost if you wanna like jazz it up a little bit. My jazz hands, yeah. 
If you want to take it to the next level, you can surround your moon water, your jars, with crystals that correspond to the moon phase that you've chosen um, for the water that you're creating. Now, if you really want to dig in and make this as powerful as it can be, you can include some affirmations um, when making your moon water, like you can make a whole evening of it, a ritual, if you will. You can either write the affirmation down on a piece of paper and set it underneath your jar. You can repeat the affirmation, uh, I usually do three times, over your jar while holding it. Or you can write, sketch, inscribe, any sigils, symbols, or signs that um, align with your point and purpose onto your jar as well. Oh, and if you are Christian like me and you wanna give your moon water an added spiritual perk, you can anoint the jar um, with anointed oil or you can, I have a crystal cross that I like to put in some of my jars just to give it some Christ-like spiritual energy. If you have any type of cross that's metallic but can be immersed in water in a jar wide enough to do so, you can do the same thing. You can pray over it however you like. Now, the final question to be answered. How do you use moon water? What do you do with it? Once you've gone through all the fun steps of creating it, of making it, what do you use it for now? Does it just sit on the shelf? No, babe, no. It is so versatile, it could be used for literally anything you can think of. I mean, it's water at the end of the day, is it not? And how much stuff do you use water for? Basically everything, no? You can use it in tea, coffee, or any other drink, just regular water, drink it, Cuba ice. You can use it to water your plants. You can use it to clean your home. You can add it to your bath water, which is what I do a lot. You can place some in a little vial and add it to your altar if you have one. You could put some in a spray bottle with a few other ingredients and create um, an energy cleansing spray for your space, for your room, for your home. You can use it in spell work, any spell work that calls for water. You can use it for anything. It's water, so do what you want with it. Rub it on your skin if that's all you do. I don't even, just use it. Try it, it's lovely, it's nice, it's fun. Just do it, okay? Well, that's it for me, guys, and that's all the talk on moon water that I have today. Did you notice my shirt? I wanted, I wanted to fit the vibe. Anywho, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comments below, um, and I will respond as quickly as I can. I promise. I'm a mom with two jobs, so I'm sorry. I'm a little, just be a little busy sometimes. My apology, okay? Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!